Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, my channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying some of the things that I've been sharing with you, some of the stories that I've been sharing so far. Um, this is my uh, studio slash man cave. Uh, this is where I do all my creative work. Um, but today I'm going to take you on a tour of my dark room. Uh, this is located in our basement here. Um, and I'm just going to go through some of the things that I've done uh, to convert a normal room into a dark room. I'm hoping that for some of you out there who are hoping to get into film photography that this uh, may help you or inspire you to, um, to, to do the same with what you have. Now when I first started off I, I really didn't have a uh, I wanted to when I wanted to get into uh, darkroom printing uh, I had to basically go through the house to figure out um, what space I had in order to do that um, it just so happened that my children had this playroom and uh, actually in this room that I'm sitting in here uh, there we used to have uh, when we purchased this house we had a big uh, pool table sitting in the middle of this room and it was just a total waste of space. For over a year, I had this pool table just sat there, and I don't play pool. That's not one of my interests. Um, and it just sat there, just wasting the space. So once we got rid of that pool table by selling it, uh, I just freed up this space here for me to be able to move all my equipment down here from the room upstairs. And once we did that, the children were also able to move their playroom into that room upstairs. And that freed up another room down here in the basement, which I was able to convert into my dark room. So without saying too much, I'm going to take you on a tour of my dark room. Uh, later on in the series, I'm going to take you on a tour of this uh, studio space. Uh, but that's for another day. And I hope that you do enjoy it. If you do enjoy my videos, uh, please do subscribe. Uh, please do click the like button. And I hope that this will help somebody out there. Okay, let's go. So as we walk towards my uh, basement here. And uh, welcome to the dark room. This, as you can see, we still have some kids toys here. And I'm just going to start from this window here. This is the only window that we have in this room here. And I was able to basically seal this window up with a piece of cardboard and some good old duct tape. I think Red Green would uh, would be very proud of me. And for those Canadians out there, I'm sure you will catch the joke. And if you're not a Canadian, just research Red Green and you would understand the joke. So what I the basic thing is just to make use of the space that you have, right? Uh, you need a light tight room. Uh, which is really what I did here is to uh, seal up the window and have it properly sealed once I did that I had uh, most of the light in this room would be taken care of the other uh, um, potential issue that I had was with this door here um, when I close this door and I'm just gonna turn off the light a bit and you will notice the light that seeps through the sides over there and that is really not a good idea so what I do let me just turn the light back on so what I do to uh, to get around that uh, let me just turn the camera what I do to get around that is really to uh, make sure that when I'm in the dark room and I'm working that the lights in that room that I passed through to get here is actually those lights are turned off and once those lights are turned off I don't have any issues uh, with um, with uh, the light tightness of this room okay so let's get on uh, I'm gonna start from this station here which is really uh, a former um, computer desk part of a computer desk that I've repurposed uh, for my as my chemicals station and my developing and and fixing and washing station really now the thing is you don't really you don't really need a running tap uh, in your in your dark room what I've done also if you um, we have a, a bathroom adjacent to this place so this is, this is where really I wash my my film so I have I've organized this color-coded 
and I also have my chemicals in these um, bottles that I have here. So this would be my Dectol, which is my developer. This is my stop bath here, and this is my fixer, and this is my uh, water uh, tray here. So the chemi the, the the film goes from uh, for the paper goes from here to here and then to here and then transfer to here and then I take this to the sink for washing okay so over here is one of the, uh, my enlargers here which would if you hear that noise that's my kids just arrived in the house and now I'm gonna have company very soon so here is my enlarger which is my really large enlarger for this enlarger I can enlarge 35 millimeter uh, film which is really uh, what I have here. So this is the Bessler uh, CB7 enlarger, I believe. And um, over here, I have the one for the medium format. Eventually, I'm hoping to get into large format. So this would be the enlarger, uh, sorry, the, the uh, film holder for the large format. And over here, I have my Omega enlarger. Um, this is actually my favorite enlarger for um, for 35 millimeter film uh, because the clarity that I get from the lens is really awesome and that's one thing that I really appreciate about this enlarger um, I just took delivery of a new lens uh, for this one here so I'm hoping that I do get better results uh, from the from from for my printing from this one, but this is what I'm going to be using solely for my uh, medium format printing and the large format printing in the future. So I got this for free at the thrift store. This table here, and this table here is basically my cutting station for cutting uh, sometimes I want to print a smaller uh, have a smaller print I I got this from BNH which is a multi-grade Ilford multi-grade um, 4 um, that's this one here let me zoom in a bit right there so I got this here this is 8 by uh, 10 but the beauty about printing in the dark room is you can certainly um, uh, cut up the paper in, in under red light. That's for black and white photography. Uh, you can cut up the paper. You can cut up the paper to whatever size you want. And this is what I use. This trimmer. I use this trimmer to cut up the paper, and then I'm able to print in different sizes. Now the lens that I got for this one here was an 80 millimeter lens, and I just noticed that I'm able. I will be able to print. Uh, smaller prints from this and I'm just going to demonstrate that here I will turn on uh, pardon the, the darkness but this is kind of important okay so if you notice here you see how small that light is that is actually the how small a size and I'm just going to compare with my finger if you can see my finger right there that's how small of a print I can make using this new lens that I have and this is 35 millimeter in there if I were to load it up with um, with an with with a, um, a medium format um, size film in here that image will be bigger and so I'm looking forward to working with this because it will give me a lot of flexibility um, okay I'm gonna move on these are for holding the paper and I really love this particular one here and the, the easel then uh, this really is very convenient to have I use this to create borders I can because it restricts the light so you will have some borders around your uh, image around around your print and this one here when you flip it over you also have these um, divisions here so you can expose an image for a different uh, amount of time and you can you can create a whole, whole bunch of effects with this you can literally compose one, one image uh, uh, 
on one sheet of uh, photographic paper you can actually compose different images theoretically using this and you could actually do different exposures and be creative with your work right so that's this enlarger over here so I have the option of using this or using that oops I have to turn this off so I don't burn my bulb and over here I have my negatives here and that's really where I store my negatives now this table is very convenient I got it for free I like I mentioned from the thrift store and I'm able to uh, store things on it and this is really my workstation here and then up here I have some knickknacks I have my mitts my sorry my gloves here uh, this is cloth so this is I need to wear this I always wear this before I handle my film because I don't want to create fingerprints you really don't want to touch these uh, your film with your bare fingers you're gonna uh, have some prints on them and and you will probably have them enlarged as well and you don't want that um, what else can I show I have my multi-grade filters which I got recently and I'm pretty sure they're somewhere around here although I can't find them right now but that's basically my darkroom and here I have a top my kids toys stored up here and so it's multi-purpose I guess but right now I'm using as a as a, as a darkroom and it's been working perfectly so I need to mention a few other features in this darkroom here and that would be this timer over here which I got on eBay for about uh, it was about 40 or 50 dollars US something like that and uh, this timer um, would be connected here to the safe lights and that would be this safe light over here I've got the amber uh, safe light here and uh, also it has the it's also connected to the enlarger so that controls both the enlarger and the safe light and the safe light if you're able to pick up this on eBay or a similar one on eBay this is really a lifesaver I would really encourage anyone out there interested in darkroom printing to really invest in that in something like this it it saved me a ton of headaches so I'm gonna flip this camera around here and I'm just gonna say that I uh, thank you for going on this tour with me I hope that this has helped somebody out there and if you do like my content um, you want to encourage me to continue doing this because uh, I'm not really doing this for the money but I'm just doing it for the fun of it and uh, with uh, this is really just a niche channel and I don't expect to get a lot of subscribers for this but I do it for the love of it so if you do like what I do and you want to encourage me just just do me a favor and just click the subscribe button or click the like button or both and I would really uh, appreciate it thank you in, in advance for uh, being part of this journey with me and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day out there and uh, be safe. Okay, T take care. Bye-bye.